Hey guys, welcome back to Storytime with Tilly. Our story today is going to be a Curious George book. I think you will like that one. It is called Curious George, A Home for Honeybees. Curious George, A Home for Honeybees. George and Steve like to build things. You two are good builders, like bees, said Betsy. George was curious. Bees could build things? Bees make honeycomb inside their hives to store honey, Betsy said. She gave some to George and Steve to taste. Betsy showed them her poster from Earth Day. Bees build hives and trees to lay their eggs and store honey. All the bees follow a queen bee. She's the biggest bee in the hive. Worker bees go from flower to flower, getting nectar and pollen to make honey. The honeycomb was very sweet. When Betsy left for dance class, George and Steve ate the whole thing. They needed to find more honeycomb. George and Steve went to the park to look for a beehive in a tree. Be careful! Bees can sting, Steve said. George could not find a hive, but he found something else. He saw a beekeeper at the Earth Day Festival in the park. This is a beehive. The beekeeper said, I built it myself. It works the same way as a hive in a tree. The bees make honeycomb on the frames in the top box. The box on the bottom is where the queen bee lives and lays her eggs. You can build your own beehive, the beekeeper said. Then you can get more honeycomb. They went back to George's house to get started. Steve drew plans for the hive. George thought building boxes would take a long time. George tried to use drawers. Some drawers didn't fit together. But kitchen cabinets would make a great beehive. Surely the man with the yellow hat would not mind. George knew where to get frames. He and Steve put all the parts together. Their beehive was ready to go back to Betsy's house. Now they needed to find some bees. George had an idea. Maybe if their hive had flowers, the bees would move in. But just then, Betsy came home. I'm sorry we ate all your honeycomb, said Steve. We built you a hive to make more. Steve and George were worried Betsy would be angry. But instead, she looked happy. This is the best present ever, Betsy said. Besides, that piece of honeycomb was for you. I've got lots more. What a relief. Betsy's project was not ruined, and there was more honeycomb. Everyone was happy. Well, almost everyone. So now you guys know how honey is made. That's pretty neat. Bees work so hard to make that honey, but I think they're okay with sharing with us. Thanks again for stopping by. I will see you next time. Bye.